good morning, Summit. Good morning, Steamboat. Welcome back. We are here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, part of Summit Morning Sunrise. Just want to say hello to everybody. My name is Jordan Leeds. Hey, I'm Reed Jones. And guys, welcome on back. If you missed these beautiful faces or you didn't get a chance to check us out yesterday or today, you can find all things on our show. Or Roku. Yes, super easy to download. Super easy to download, super easy to check us out. And guys, if you if you can't get enough things, Steamboat, we have good news for you. We have some direct flights opening from Denver. Um, so if you're sick of all the ski traffic, we got direct flights coming at the end uh, or at the beginning of next season. So we're going to throw it over to the VP of Marketing for Southwest and check out what they have to say about it. We are so excited to finally announce this. I know it's at the end of this ski season, but we're ready to. We're already thinking about 2020 ski season, getting people excited for a new destination on Southwest Airlines. You know, the Steamboat community has been great to work with, and we are we are really looking forward to getting started at the end of the year. So, Southwest Airlines has very pro customer friendly policies, such as bags fly free so anytime you're traveling on southwest you can check up to two bags uh, there are some size and weight limitations that do apply uh, but the best part is you don't have to pay for it and the best part about all of this especially for a ski destination is that skis and snowboards count as one bag so you can bring your skis or your snowboards boots poles uh, and other equipment that you need to safely hit the slopes and it all counts as one bag so you can bring another bag for all your clothes and then you can bring your carry-on bag, which will be with all your uh, your fun souvenirs that you pick up along the way. Awesome. So, guys, like my man Dan said, they're going to be opening up some seasonal flights, which is a great way, whether you're a skier, snowboarder, or a lover of winter wonderlands, an amazing way to get up here, uh, quick, easy travel, and you don't have to deal with that crazy traffic. Mm -hmm. on I-70 or the treacherous road conditions that could exist on Rabbit Ears Pass. Absolutely. And they came out with just flights from through Denver so far, but they did say, it kind of teased, and um, I, I'm ready for more information. Obviously, we're not going to get that for a while. Yeah, they're going to they keep are, us on the hook for a yeah. little bit longer here. Southwest is D Dallas based, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of thinking that's going to be Oh, a couple direct out. flights from your home, your hometown, your yeah. area over there. Maybe. Maybe. Well, yeah, it's a great way, guys, to get to town. Super easy. Um, and everyone knows it's a three-hour drive from Denver, so being able to hop on a plane um, Have you ever done that flight from Denver to here? No, I haven't. It's, it's kind of bizarre. You, like, get up, and then you go down. Oh, I bet. I bet you, it's like, like, don't even get all the I way bet it's, like, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's nuts. It's, planes, it's great. Planes are the future. Yeah. They've been around for a while, but they're definitely... <laughs> they're definitely Still, still getting it, and a great way to travel, guys. Um, and Southwest, they allow you to fly two check bags free, I believe. Mm -hmm. So one of them can be a ski and snowboard bag, which, as we all know, traveling to other resorts, that's such a pain yeah. to travel with all your gear and just the... Um, well, having to pay for it to travel with it, that Oh, I know. Things. And so, it's gigantic. Yeah. So it costs a lot of money to travel with it. So having this be one of your free check bags, there you go. Awesome. So guys, Southwest knows what they're doing. They are hooking it up. So stay tuned for some more information. But right now, that's just a little bit to keep you on the hook, get you excited about next winter. Um, I'm ready for summer, but some of us are ready <laughs> for next winter. Uh, check us back, guys. We'll be back in about 15. We're going to throw it back to Summit. And thanks for tuning in.